Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and welcome back to my channel. We are watching season 3 episode 9 of Schitt's Creek today. I think it's all happy sailing from here on out. I met uh oh, we have to do this right now. You've you were you've been so asleep. You've been so asleep and now I'm talking, you're getting all excited and you're gonna squeak it to wake. Thank you. Oh, you're so handsome. Look at you and all of that handsomeness. Holy crap, Neville. You're so handsome. Anyway, I think it's all upwards and onwards from here now that I have met Patrick. The love for Patrick over on my Patreon when I posted the last episode. Incredible. Incredible. I can not wait to see where Patrick goes and what happens with Patrick because people are loving him. I loved him. Don't get me wrong. I had a great time with Patrick, and I thought that he was spectacular in the first meeting of him. But the way everyone reacted about Patrick, I'm ready. I'm ready for the love that I'm about to feel. I don't know, but we're moving on. In the last episode, like I said, we met Patrick, who was helping David come up with his business plan for his general store, or whatever he's doing, and we saw David get a little bit flustered over Patrick, which was, I was loving. That's not the point, whether I loved it, I guess, but David seemed to be loving it, I don't know. Patrick was loving it, we're all loving it. Moira had to help out at the motel and ended up getting a bad review only to go like give a sob story to the old man who wrote the review. My dog, <laughs> I'm scratching his butt and he's backing it up. You can see his tail right here. <laughs> what are you doing? You're being ridiculous. I'm trying to work here. I'm trying to work here and you're backing up this dump truck. What the heck's that about? Okay. Well, um, Johnny also wrote Alexis's paper, reworked her paper, but Jocelyn found out, so Alexis redid it and did a better job because she wrote it herself, even if she didn't get a great grade on it. And then, yeah, I think that that's all that really happened last time, and I cannot wait to see where we go in this episode now. Now, do you think you can go lay down so that I can watch this episode? You're biting your tail? That's so good. Oh, I'm so proud of you. You're doing so good, honey. You're doing good, sweetheart. In your tail. That's so good. Okay. I love you. I love you a lot. Do you want to... Hey, do you want to come here? Come here. Oh, oh my... Hello. Okay. Hi. This is Neville. <laughs> In case you have not seen Neville on the channel before. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are ginormous. Thank you. You snuck a kiss. Okay. Can you go lay down? I don't know why you're insisting today to be the center of attention. I mean, every day he's the center of attention, but usually he lets me film in peace for the most part. Are you okay? You got to go lay down now? Why don't you go lay down, handsome? As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. The link for that's down below. And without any further ado, let's just jump right in to Season 3, Episode 9 of Schitt's Creek. Let's go. Do I have the car keys? No. No. But according to the sign-out sheet, I was the last person to use the car. The sign-out sheet. Using this sign-out sheet. Well, that's not true. Stevie's got her name on the sheet. Wait a minute, why is Stevie's name on the sheet? She's got... Yeah. David, I need the car keys. Your father's driving me to Thornbridge. I'm driving you to Thornbridge? But Roland offered to drive you. Oh, he did, but no thanks. I can't take four hours in a truck with Roland and Leonard Skinner. Okay. Now, my name is on the list. I have the car back in a few hours. Okay, well, I might need it for a few hours after that, though. Fine, we'll just keep it for the day. John? I mean, didn't David technically buy the car? Moira, look at this. Under purpose of trip, he writes, driving. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if she has a ride with Roland, I don't really see the problem. Let's get suited up. 
Thank you, but no, Roland. I won't wear anything with an adhesive backing. Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to need you in there by my side when we make this budget pitch. If there's anyone at this fabulous little confab who knows how to work a room of fragile egos, it's me. She's something else always. All of your products under one label instills brand recognition and creates synergy. Um, I'm sure you're very excited about all the new words you're learning in your high school intro to business course. <laughs> That's like 53 pounds. Why are you here? You know what I think would be really cute is if I had my own little label like under your label. Yeah. And I could sell. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, these are really coming together in here. Oh, um, we're Patrick? Dropping off David's business license. Oh, isn't that the cutest thing? I am Alexis, and I'm currently studying business, and I'm David's sister and life coach, so. Well, it's great to meet you, Alexis. Is she, like, hitting on him? Thank you. <laughs> what did I do? Well, I simply channeled someone who cares. Under my wing, she's, she's learning to fly. I've been married now for about 10 Thank years, you. and I did Okay, we'll talk when you Oh, Roland. I mean, our town doesn't get recognized like this very often, and this time it's for something mm. really positive. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll send to you. Okay. Are they going to let Roland in? That is actually cat hair. There's a Himalayan breeder up the street that knits them for us. Hi. Hi. Just uh, dropping. <laughs> what? Oh, in that case, you should probably take that off. Yeah, like now. Oh, oh. It's very sweet. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, actually, they uh, they all come framed. Yeah, I was going to say, I think they come like that. Well, I flattened out the lip balm so no one's going to notice. It's a lot of... Listen, if you need help, I'm, I'm happy to help. Um, why? Alexis is here helping. Well, no, if Patrick has offered to move all the boxes, then I think we should let him. Uh, is that what I offer? Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> I, I can hardly hear you, John. Cheering in the accolades or drowning out your gentle voice? Sweetheart, and uh, don't get too carried away. I'm networking, John. Um. Who are you talking to? It's my husband. Uh, <laughs> He's rolling. Hey, we're out. <laughs> Ramp, you should be here. Mary, something is here. Gavin's here. Oh, my God. Wow. Everson says she's gonna be like. Shut the blinds. Have not a great morning. Please. Oh my god. Ah! Oh. Ah! Roland! The eyelash on her forehead. What are you talking about? This is my room. What the fuck are you doing in your room? Are you naked under there? <laughs> Honey, what I do in the privacy of my sheets is my own business. Oh my god. Oh wow. Uh huh. What is wrong with Jocelyn? Jocelyn? You are handling this way better than I am. Handling what better? Roland and Moira sleeping together. What? At the conference last night. Yeah, no, no. Well, Roland says that they just slept in the same bed together. Uh huh. Oh my god. This is so bad. Maybe she was so exhausted because she was up all night with her mitts Oh No, 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 no. I know Moira and she would never. But I know what it's like to be in bed with a naked rolling shit. And I am powerless against that. <laughs> oh, wait, that's so me. Highlighting everything. I think you might actually need to break a sweat in order to earn sweat equity. <laughs> Fair. Just an FYI, Patrick won't be there. So there won't be anybody for you to flirtatiously boss around. Okay, he hasn't even asked for my phone number, which, in my experience, means that he's either newly married or he's gay. Maybe that means that his eye is on somebody else. Come on, Alexis. At least she's aware. That wears straight-legged, mid-range denim. He's not into me. Okay, well, it's either that or he's really into the store, which, no offense, seems a lot less likely to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Does Patrick have a crush on David? Oh, my God.
It's fine. Apparently, her husband, Roland, spent the night with you. <laughs> I know. Wasn't that funny? Moira. I didn't tell you anything because I was embarrassed. I owe an apology to you and to sober people everywhere. Moira, that's my beer. You don't even drink beer. It's symbolic, John. I was going to say, I didn't think that that was hers. Oh my God, Patrick is back? Wait, okay, I'm living. Look at him. I'm not here for your sister. <laughs> what are you here for? I think I'll get that money. Well, when you're supporting local businesses, there are grants that you can apply for. And I would be happy to assist you with those applications. See, if the grants came through, you'd have the money to start paying me. Okay. Um, I really think you have something here, David. You just, just need some help. You need a lot of help. Okay. <laughs> and uh, in the interest of us potentially working together, I did want to uh, come clean about something. What? I, um, I actually picked out that frame. So thank you for making it very clear that I will be making the creative decision. <laughs> Stop! All the business stuff. I'm very comfortable with that. And you do know that if the grant money doesn't come through, then I won't be Oh, I'm going to get the money. <laughs> um, hello? Excuse me? What is going on there? What's happening there? I'm feeling feelings. Because I think it's best that we talk man to man. I love Roland. I'm so sorry. He's so stupid. But you told me you're still pretty upset. Not stupid huh? like Look, if anyone was not smart, stupid like humor wise. He's just like makes me laugh stupidly. Ninety nine point nine 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 percent sure that nothing happened between me and your wife. I'm 100% sure, and I wasn't even there. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to leave because Moira is coming out soon, and I really don't want, want to. want to tempt fate twice. I got it. No, no, I don't think you do got it. Wife would never go out for a burger when she has a strong penchant for steak. Good night, Roland. Breakfast tomorrow, right? Good night, Roland. Okay. I liked that. That was a good analogy. That was so funny. I had my one chance at proletarian oasis, and I squandered it, passed out in Roland's bed. You slept with Roland? No. <laughs> Do we call him Uncle Roland? All right, that's enough. Oh my thing. God. I mean, I get it. Roland's the mayor. And it's what is that on her head? What is that? Um, I just want you to know that no matter what anyone says, you will always be our first dad. Good. <laughs> oh my God. It's so stupid for no reason. Like, it's just so funny. It's so good. I love David's little interludes will always be my favorite along with his facial expressions. There's just nothing that beats it and tops it. It's just always great when it comes to anybody, but specifically him talking to his parents. It just sends me up a wall. Like it's the best, the best. Overall, love this episode. Patrick is coming in so hot. The little, like, confession of him buying and picking out the frame. Stop it. Stop it right now. My heart can't handle it. I also love that Alexis is very aware. So you have a lot of people um, in shows like her that are very, like, know they are beautiful, know that people are into them. That kind of vibe but they find it hard to believe that people aren't into them in the sense of like, if they aren't, they don't see that and they'll keep pushing it. So I do really like that Alexis was like, like even if she was still backing herself by being like the only reason he wouldn't ask for my number is because he's gay or he's married. Like she's still backing herself that well, but like she is capable of seeing that he's not interested for whatever the reason may be. So I really appreciate that and like that about her, that she doesn't like keep pushing if it's really not there. So slay to Alexis for that. I'm loving seeing David's store come together as well. I think that's just such 
like an interesting journey and part of the show. The fact that Jocelyn actually thought that like they would sleep together is so funny. Just because obviously like from the very beginning Jocelyn has always been very like Roland is the best, <laughs> Roland's so hot, Roland's this, Roland's that. But there's no way that Moira would ever, even in a blackout state, go down that road. Jocelyn was looking a mess. I feel bad for her though because I, I guess I get it. She thinks that like Roland's the best and everybody would want him but so silly. Johnny was like there's no way. <laughs> it didn't happen. Like maybe she was, ended up passed out in the bed but nothing happened. I can promise you that. I love that he said that and he was like and I wasn't even there. I'm 100% sure and I wasn't even there. That was so funny. Oh my god, I love this show, and it really is getting better and better now that we know the characters so well from, like, the previous two seasons and half of this season. I just... Ugh. I love that we're moving along and, like, just, I'm so attached to them and their stories. It's so good. It's so good. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. Link for that's down below. And I will see you guys back here with me for the next episode. Bye, guys.